Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Mold. So happy to be here with you guys today. We're going to be going over what I would like to see um, in 2015 and with Town Hall 11. If it ever comes out, who really knows? Um, a lot of people have been talking about this kind of stuff and um, I made the video on the Witch Tower and I went through some of those comments, read over those. I've also compiled a list of things that I would love to see um, in the future in this game. Um, it's been around for a long time. They've progressed a lot. Clan Wars was a huge release. Um, other Town Halls were a huge release as well and they came out with those because initially there wasn't Town Hall 10, etc, etc. Um, so I have some things written down that I'm going to just kind of play at you guys. First of all, y'all can see what's in the background. is my little Photoshop creation of what I think a sweet Town Hall 11 would look like. Um, so first of all, you can see on the top of the Town Hall that there's a defense. There's an air defense on the top of it. Um, I think it'd be pretty cool if you could choose uh, a defense within, not like all of them, but you could choose between a couple to put on your Town Hall. I don't know why I had to thought that it looked cool and I felt like it could make it a little more functional. Um, etc. Maybe it could have different limitations, something along those lines. But I really did it because I think that it looked cool and that it, I don't know, I feel like it could add a lot of function to the defense of a base. Um, next, everybody always talks about heroes. They always talk about the king and the queen. Um, but one thing that you guys have always seen, especially when you do the single player maps, is the goblin king. There's a goblin king in the game. He rules all the goblins, but we've never seen him as a hero. I think it'd be awesome to have um, a hero that goes after loot because we have the king who's a tank, we have the queen who's ranged, but we don't have anybody who uh, targets a specific thing. So I think that would be awesome and I, I can just picture him now and how freaking sweet he would look uh, <laughs> if they made him. He would look so awesome. Um, next, I think that it would be good, uh, obviously, to add more levels to the Goblin campaign. I don't know why that hasn't happened yet because uh, they've come out with Inferno Towers, and none of them have Inferno Towers. So they definitely need to be updated, um, and I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to that. I think that that would be awesome. Um, another big thing that a lot of you guys have said that I've always thought would be good as well is saving troop composition. So you can just press one button. You don't have to train it up. So say you have a Go Wipe saved. You have Go Wee Wee saved. You have um, a Barch with some, I don't know, maybe a Guard Strategy saved. All those different kinds of things. You make up your own. You can just go tap and it automatically fills it all. I think that would make things so much more functional and time efficient. I think that that would be awesome. Um, it'd be cool for a new league because people are pushing up so high. I think that there should be a new league after uh, Champions. I don't know what it would be. A lot of you guys have come up with names. If you guys want to comment down below names for leagues or even your own ideas, definitely go ahead and do that. Also, guys, make sure you all leave a like on this video. Let's me know that you like the ideas. Let you know. Um, <clears throat> let's me know that you like what I'm doing. I'm having a lot of fun, and I love I love doing this for you guys, uh, especially going over ideas like this and whatnot. It's just it's really cool to see everybody's ideas because I don't think of everything at any rate. A lot of these ideas are y'all's ideas. Um, one of them uh, that somebody mentioned was uh, I've seen this before. I've seen gym mines. So a gym mine, a mine that produces gems. The only thing with that is they came out with gym boxes, so it's kind of the same thing. Uh, not really too sure um, if that would ever happen, but I think that's kind of a cool idea. Uh, I also think that builders or upgrading builders, either A, upgrading builders so that they work faster, or allowing, to, allowing you to dedicate multiple builders per um, thing. So if you have five builders and you only upgrade one thing, throw all five of the builders on it. Like that's how construction works in the real world. Uh, it's not just one person building it. So I think that'd be awesome if you could connect all your builders together on a Tesla when it takes freaking two weeks. Uh, you can throw all five of them on there and it only takes four days, something like that. Um, I think that that would be really, really cool. Uh, another one that's kind of already implemented in Boom Beach uh, and games like that where you can retreat uh, so that you can save troops because their retreating actually can happen in, in real life. Like that's a big part about army uh, tactics and whatnot is knowing when to retreat. So I think that would be really cool if you could retreat and actually save some of your troops um, as long as they weren't. Uh, well, no, I guess if they came back at half health, they would be healed up in real life. So uh, I think that would be really, really good. Um, and then one of the big things that I mentioned in another video, guys, is kind of like a farming challenge. You know, uh, the game was built around trophy pushing and all that kind of stuff, but there's a large amount of people who just farm and just like getting gold, dark elixir, elixir, upgrading everything. Uh, there's a large amount of people that do that, and when they came out with Clan Wars, it helped all the other people, but I think it'd be really cool if there was like a farming challenge. So each week or something along those lines, 
uh, your clan, if you have a farming clan, uh, can accept a challenge. There can be different levels, and you can accept the challenge of, all right, I think that my whole clan can farm 60 million gold, 60 million elixir, and, uh, I don't know, 300,000 dark elixir in a week. Something like that. And then if you do it, then you get a bonus, and you can choose what it is, but if you don't get it, then you don't get anything. So that's where it comes in with choosing. I think that'd be really, really cool. Um, to do, but guys, those are just some things I would love to see come out with Town Hall 11 or come out just in uh, the year of 2015. You know, the, the game has been huge. Everybody saw the commercials in the Super Bowl last night, like prime time Super Bowl spot commercial with Clash of Clans. Ridiculous. So the game's not going anywhere anytime soon. Um, but comment down below, guys, as to what you guys would like to see. Leave a like on other people's comments as well. I love reading the comments and seeing some of them with like 300 likes. From just somebody saying, I think it'd be cool if you did this. So make sure you guys do that down below. Leave a like on the video as well. Make sure you guys comment. I'm going to go through those. And as always, guys, make sure you keep calm and you clash on them, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.